Okay, cool. Uh, so everyone, welcome to this session on uh, managing interpersonal relationships or rather leveraging interpersonal relationships. Uh, this session, as you know, is run, uh, managed and this platform is managed by uh, Naveen and Sudhakar from, TED, uh, from TGV. And uh, I've gotten to know quite a few of you on this platform and it's been an absolute ride on TED Circles every time we get on here. And uh, looking forward to another amazing session today. Uh, uh, Naveen has like, gladly agreed to let me host today. And as you know, I picked the topic to be as uh, uh, leveraging interpersonal relationships. Now, the thing about the word leverage is whenever I talk to a finance guy, I will say, relationship mein interest kyu likhe aata hai? So <laughs> that's the whole point in, in this sense is I want to make one thing clear. When I talk about leverage in interpersonal relationships, it's more about how we dealing with our contacts in the business environment. Like when we meet them, what do we do? Like, after, like somebody in a higher position and we expect something out of them at some point in our lives, right? Everybody is not our friend. So how do we go about managing that relationships to get something more out of it, right? For example, if you're in sales, we, anybody in sales has the habit of reaching out and with uh, unabashedly, right? Because they know I can ask, ask karna mera duty hai, karunga, to mera aage kuch hone wala nahi hai. Whereas everybody else who's not in sales or not willing to get into sales, hears the word leverage and feels ashamed. Who talks about leveraging personal relationships? Relationships are to, build, um, to be managed and, you know, like built upon. So if, what is this gap? Because now going forward, everyone is a business in their own right, right? Because we have to take care about our jobs. We got to ensure financial security. So coming to that, where do we stand when it comes to interpersonal relationships in a commercial environment? What do we think? What it means? That's the first question for the day. And when was the last time we actually helped somebody in the space to get a job or even to uh, get them uh, a sales contract? right how did they ask or how did they approach you for it and uh, what you did like maybe these common shared experiences will tell us how we can better ourselves in that way and uh, let's go from there somebody wants to start off with them yeah like good as as you said that uh, last time you helped any anyone in in the space so yes uh, i i like i do that every day like so uh, I have a team of people like uh, I am uh, working with young minds we, we, who are not experienced. I get them onto board like like I am leading a team of blockchain developers. Like they were earlier, like they have literally not passed out from their college yet. So they okay. are still like the, in the last semester. So now they are a full, full time blockchain developer with our company. There's another person like uh, who, who I'm helping to get into the web development domain. So it's he's a just MCA like um, from a three college and then um, struggling out so yes I, I help everyone there are more in, interns so i am not concerned with ios android or any of the xyz technology dot net but yes i try to help everyone in terms of commercial space uh, and like out of my company as well like if uh, anyone is trying to get on to with some commercial things or maybe on a job or a business idea they, if anyone is coming to me i'm there to always help them so yes uh, i have created some relationships which are more commercial and i would not say that much non-commercial but yes they are on uh, each both the ends because Many, many times the person can't really give you what the equal share of say break even as you have given. But yes, uh, that's kind of a relationship that uh, I've been following in the commercial space or the corporate space. Okay. What would be your definition of uh, interpersonal relationship though? I believe you're talking about helping other people, right? You, yes. uh, I believe, I'm sure that gives you a lot of happiness. It helps you commercially as well because it makes business sense yes. on one end, but it also gives you a lot of personal satisfaction. But yes. if I talk about it commercially, Antume, what does it mean for you? Like, are there any bad experiences around it? Like, nahi, something yes. didn't work and how do you take a, take it on? Like, mostly it's fear, See, right? That yes. it won't work for most people. Yes. So, uh, to answer your question, let me, like, 
I, I have been into this uh, uh, like into this uh, corporate space for three years. So in this three years, when before Corona, I was more of a challenging person like, who was taking challenges, like who were taking risks. And then during the Corona, I was not in that space that I would take the risk. So I stopped like uh, getting people people on board who were not that much experienced. So I, I would say like, uh, yes, there have been uh, very much things which uh, have given me that uh, setback or who, which have made me think on the terms that I am going. But at the end, I, I go back to what I am going. And to the extent I like, for me, interpersonal relationship or a re relationship, I would say, is something where where it doesn't mean that you are giving anything or you are taking anything in equal proportion. It's more of a, a mutual understanding. Like if you are able to help other uh, the second person, or maybe not help. Like many a times when you are sad, it it always doesn't mean that you you are taking a like if you are telling like uh, suppose I have some issue like we 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 were discussing at the beginning of the call that uh, I'm half married now and then then also I'm laughing so there are the person who said that he may have that much uh, like experiences so uh, if he, he's telling me I am not the person to g give him some uh, gyan because I am not experienced but a relationship may be mute and may not be that much quiet because many times you need someone to listen to you you many a times in a relationship you need what like so that's more of a thing thing i would say in a relationship is be it a professional relationship be it a personal relationship so that's the basic definition of relationship for me cool that's that's a nice way to put it uh, we welcome Sangeeta, Sudhakar and the others who have just joined in for their benefit and Rashvi as well. We are discussing what interpersonal relationships mean to us in terms of the context of a leverage in commercially. And uh, what uh, when was the last time we helped somebody and our experiences around that? Anybody else willing to go? Sangeeta, Rajshree, anybody? Hi, everyone. Anand? Good evening. Hey, hi, Sangeeta. Hi. Nice to see you, all of you. <laughs> okay, the topic is very interesting. So I couldn't resist uh, joining this out of the <laughs> busy schedule. <laughs> Welcome. But finally, yes, uh, I had to miss two sessions due to my schedule. Last few, two sessions. So hi, Rohit, how are you? Rohit, you're mute. <laughs> <laughs> Sangeeta, uh, is your question more attributed towards uh, how are you after your engagement? Is that the question? Yeah. <laughs> I'm good. I'm happy. <laughs> Till now, I'm happy. You can see. Just like a sablo bol rahe Facebook smile hai. So yes, that is. Rohit filter add kiya kya? Rohit, enjoy it while it lasts. Thanks for the motivation. And I am not scaring you in any means. Okay. I am saying thanks for the motivation. And, First and, was Navi, then way, you. See, Sudhakar, Sudhakar is speaking so daringly and openly because he's <laughs> away from home. Okay. <laughs> yes, yeah. Yes. And, and same with me as well. Miles away. <laughs> <laughs> same with me as well. I'm not in Hyderabad. <laughs> yeah. Very true. Right. Guys, I, guys, I'll, I'll turn on my video when I speak, okay? Because I'm trying to save the 4G data, but continue. <laughs> okay, okay. All right. Yeah, so interpersonal uh, relationships, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, I think, one of the most key uh, skill everyone must have because this is what I have experienced in the due course of time. Right from our childhood, we have been uh, trained to become social, help each other, share share your things, uh, whatever you have. So all this, we eventually develop ourselves. And uh, that shows, uh, that really pays off also in most of the situations when you are in a need. True. It, it is all about, yes, how can we help others? But also there are situations in, your, in, your, in everyone's life when we need help. 
<clears throat> so do we develop ourselves even to seek help? That is also one of the skill uh, eventually we have to learn. And I think COVID made a uh, lot of things clear for most of us who have experienced uh, the growth of their individual individuality through this interpersonal skills yeah. uh, or interpersonal uh, relationships. Uh, where, as Rohit uh, rightly mentioned, the give and take being equally proportionate doesn't come into picture at all. It's all about whatever the situation needs and are we in the right uh, way doing it? Uh, and whatever they need, are we able to uh, give it? Whether it is guidance or say for career or for uh, to, to even quit. Sometimes there are situations where people approach you that, hey, I want to quit. I'm not comfortable with this manager or leader or all those reasons they'll bring. So that time um, we need to make a matrix where I felt that, yes, you need to really jot down what are the real reasons. Is it just because of the people you're quitting or is it because you are done with your, uh, you don't find any more interest in your job and you find some other interesting job where you want to join. True. So uh, being... Um, Maintaining these relationships is very, very important because we know that we all are interconnected, interdependent, and we cannot say no, and we cannot even say yes all the time. So, yes, uh, I think uh, this skill makes an individual wiser uh, stage by stage or situation by situation. This comes from my own experience. Yeah, actually, I was just going to build on that question, uh, the wiser part, like how much fear, does fear play into this conversation in in your relationships? Is Does fear play a role at all? It does. Do I think In relationships out of fear or out of the fact that possibly take it in a good place one way or the other? Yeah, I think uh, the straightforwardness works much better than having a fear and just maintaining maintaining it for the sake of it. Even say even a, a corporate organization when where there is a hierarchy, so we need to be vocal at the right time also, because we are interrelated everywhere, right? If yeah. I'm in an organization, I'm related to everyone. So how my uh, even one uh, when we are into all hands um, uh, all employee meeting, how are we uh, posing the questions to the leaders about the business growth and all? that also shows my uh, skill to put the right question in the right time. I cannot just go out of the way and ask something else. Uh, so that is where the wisdom plays the role. And fear, yes, as you said, fear in a relationship will not exist. It should not exist. That is what is my belief. Okay, cool. <laughs> awesome. Anybody yeah. else? Like Anybody, Rajshri, Anand, Sangeeta? Yeah, I will go next. Yeah. Oh, sorry, sorry. Uh, Rajesh, please. Who's going in? Yeah, can I go in? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah if anybody else wants to. Uh, see, I believe in uh, interpersonal um, a relationship or whatever we are talking about, interpersonal skills. We require great skills because the toughest part is not our education, our background, or because I am a trainer of soft skills and career mentor and so on. I always believe that interpersonal skills are very, very important because any career or life advancement or personal you know, or your personality development or career development depends on utterly on your interpersonal skills. No matter what education you have, what experience you have, if you are not good at interpersonal skills, that's going to affect you. Even in a simple, you know, work from home situation, uh, there are a lot of challenges because you're at home and, you know, uh, it becomes a remote relationship, but still we need to go ahead and build that. And uh, it is becoming hybrid, yes, but that uh, whatever, you know, um, two days you go for important, uh, you know, um, yeah. hybrid situation, so, you need to, uh, from your side, how much you can actually build, you need to do it because remote situation, there are challenges, the same challenges I'm like, you know, facing even uh, online when I do it, you know, the sessions. And uh, because some people will not put on their camera. So, uh, so what happens, you can never see their body language. You can, you 
you are just looking at the way they express themselves maybe they want to you know express themselves they can talk but then uh, you don't know um, actually so uh, that is one thing i think it's a big challenge which we are facing at the present era uh, but i think yes technically yes a lot of um, you know advancements are there we are, we are able to network with uh, more people and uh, build our uh, interpersonal relationship with more people because of technology thanks to technology because earlier we were in a you know just a, we are our own castle and we're just building the limited now we are able to spread our wings and we are able to build network with more people because i myself were not able to communicate like this you know network with different uh, field only my field i used to communicate and people knew me okay rachi hospitality that's it but now i am able to you know because of the networking and the platforms we are able to do that is uh, digital uh, has enabled us all this so thanks to that but what we have to keep in mind is when we are doing it uh, we need to keep in mind sometimes uh, you know um, even when we have to be present that is very important in uh, when we are uh, having our interpersonal relationship in a building uh, digitally we need to be present if we're doing something and doing something at the back of it and still trying to manage what happens it is not a honest thing and i always believe it has to be honest personal uh, interpersonal relationship because when honesty comes there uh, it is very strong and so mutually uh, we get the results also it helps us in our personality in our career in our influencing everything otherwise you will be part of one group part of the other group but then anyway you are not contributing much so you are there that's it yeah and uh, i always believe that when we are in a, i'm talking about the tgv platform also let me be very honest about it when we are there in a group there we are a family members we are all family members so with that considering we are part of the networking family uh, sometimes we might share some of our feelings some of our you know whatever we are having um, you know we achievement and all that but uh, what happens uh, when tgv ends i'm being very honest let me be very honest this is one thing that i'm we have to be honest because i believe in honesty people think okay uh, like personally people are pushing this it's not that a celebration along with a networking family see because i cannot go like before physically and celebrate and you know for meet people just imagine if this was not that we would have met already in bangalore so many times you know yeah. when we are in such platform you are not able so interpersonal relationship means looking at it straight not looking at it you know um, uh, like you know with your uh, rules and regulations are very important i do believe because i don't believe in violating any rules and regulation but then sometimes you know uh, if we know people we should communicate i believe off the line also and build a relationship As because right, tgv right, event right. is monthly once next month you come uh, people are there so that there is one a point hybrid in a, in the current environment right yes, yes. they knows what's the right way forward yes, like yes 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 after decades of working together in yes. person we are still figuring things out so with the Correct. it's a very digital, tough it, time it makes yeah. it very difficult to keep very, everybody happy uh, a uh, lot of challenges everybody yeah. have but then uh, positive also i told you we are able to network in more platforms communicate form a network in many people but yeah. inter interpersonal relationship one thing i want to tell if we are honest if we are really committed to that uh, because that is one of my psychometric that is my highest strength which you not my other uh, leadership or anything mine is interpersonal relationship that is yeah. why i read a lot about it when this came in the psychometric because i've done two psychometric analysis interpersonal relationship is on the top okay and you need to be very honest in your relationship so that you know you should try to learn for the other people person also otherwise what we are communicating communicating to each other is a way if we are not yes. learning our own team members and forming that bonding i feel is very important. then what happens what the other person also you know uh, we will not uh, give it up like somebody has got some problem but always the other person is there 
okay yeah. so we're always supporting each other as a team and uh, the relationship uh, will help us also and the other person also tomorrow yeah. what i have you also might be having another day so yeah. that time if nobody supporting you will find it difficult so Definitely. i believe I in that bonding and yeah. honesty when we have and it should be the top strength for any person i believe because if you can have a leadership but if you're not for your team right and yeah. just a leader and you're just instructing things follow this did you do that did you follow things and you're not having you know because empathy forms a part of interpersonal relationship you're not it's, having uh, that empathy ask again and sudhakar what they think about that if they could yes, come yes of course yeah, no definitely. no uh, that uh, of course that is it so okay. these are my thoughts i'm very sorry i have to leave for my influencing master mind uh, program now so oh. i thought let me communicate that is why i have to taken a little more time so the others yes, can just uh, Yeah, sorry. I'm so guys, I thought let me to, when this topic you. came, I was very happy. I thought I have to express my views. So thank you for joining. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for giving me this opportunity. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. <coughs> Naveen Stakar. Yeah. See, yeah. Maybe uh, let me go first. Uh, when it comes to these interpersonal relationships, as uh, many of you have mentioned, uh, candidness and honesty is very important, and. Uh, i'll share uh, good part and bad bad part of these interpersonal relationships okay so i've seen two kinds of people uh, first kind of people is just like me who is like give and take or more give and less take kind of thing yeah which is good okay that way what happens is uh, whenever i need help right I, i get that particular help similarly whenever somebody needs help i'll tell you the other day i posted about uh, google's reference right immediately sudhakar responded yeah. and again nitesh responded and nitesh has gone one an extra mile and he has spoken to that person also my friends uh, awesome. uh, he has spoken to my friend yeah. right in that i told hey i don't want to be in between because i don't want to be the uh, messenger yeah. you go ahead and take it yeah. to be honest if at all if it was somebody else in my position probably you would have just put it in the group and left it there itself but i was trying to communicate and the other person has also understood about me okay this if i am giving something to him he is diligently following up and all right yeah. these kind of it's things are just like, forwarding something it's about building something exactly so these are kind of paid forward right yeah if, if at all it, it it works well definitely this guy is going to help us in future right yeah. it's going to help us in future and uh, that is about part one part two is more about somebody who is always take 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 i don't want to name okay who, there are so many people in the group as well okay wherein they come and they share the they, they try to publicize uh, their in their, their posts on uh, linkedin or instagram or whatever the media coverage that they get but they never joined our meetings yeah. likewise and uh, when it comes to help also right they are always on the seeking side but they never give it back so those are not basically what you are saying it's not a relationship it's a just a take and exactly yeah. exactly yeah in in fact uh, i've seen a couple of folks okay not not couple of many of our people like anand vamsi right they go that extra mile to give that uh, to to help us right yeah. and in the same way if somebody is approaching me i give it my 100% to make sure they get that particular help that's how interpersonal relationships are built oh, yeah right yesterday i came across one uh, Quote actually, अगर तू बोकने का कुत्ता होता नहीं तो काटने का कुत्ता, which is better like if you are always talking and no action it doesn't make any sense. Rather be a biting dog then people will start trusting you because the least first and foremost factor whether it is personal relationship or professional relationship trust is the most important factor and that will be established over a period of time. It will not happen just like that. That's a nice point to build on, right? Yeah, exactly. That's a nice point. Trust is actually the foundation of all these relationships. and uh, you build it only over a period of time like uh, navina i bet is smiling at somebody knows and trusts right now <laughs> <laughs> navina i yeah. think you should take us around the toy store we need to <laughs> i am tempted <laughs> to look at what toys are around you thank <laughs> <Maybe laughs> you discount <laughs> navina <laughs> has been navina has been a big inspirer and any time i can count on navin you know anything i ask is there at least he supports you know so i yeah. definitely madam because see that it is, is why all today i'm here i'm here every time 
every yeah. saturday i'm there i, I see that in fact uh, you you have always been our inspiration and all because you step out of your comfort zone and try to prove yourself try to give back that particular knowledge and wisdom that you have earned so far and all i always uh, admire in fact we have some internal discussions also about adoring your passion and also which fuels us also which is so good All right, so I'll stop uh, here. We move on to somebody else. N V Anand Sudhakar. Yeah. Yeah. Go? I will go next. Okay. Uh, uh, I just thought Naveen is planning to send us some gifts, right? Uh, actually, is there in the gift <laughs> shop? Should be a personal <laughs> shopper of thanks. Yeah, <laughs> to be a part of this T J Nigu. Just kidding, Naveen. Uh, <laughs> all right. Uh, I think the topic is very interesting, Avinash. Thank you so much for you know uh, allowing us to speak on it. Uh, <clears throat> so to start with i think the first and foremost thing about interpersonal relationship in the context that you have said yeah in the professional uh, like you know is, uh, yeah. square yeah uh, <clears throat> because it goes beyond that exactly uh, whenever beyond that it yeah the human that relation comes very different world and yeah. bring up different kind of emotions so <laughs> it's best to stick a boundary around <laughs> now that's that's very great thing you did because otherwise it, the discussion would have been It's way to uh, something else yeah so i think wherever the human relationship comes it becomes very complicated because we all are uh, we are all coming from different backgrounds uh, different journeys and uh, the way we perceive the world it's very different for everybody right and i think in this particular scenario uh, the, the the best thing that i can recommend everyone which i have definitely done is of course or uh, we need to read the book which is like how to win friends and influence people oh that's uh, right don't go by the name guys those who have not read i did the same mistake for like number of years i thought Sounds it's a cliche, cliche book but it is actually an amazing book yeah it's a, i thought the name is very cliche i thought oh it's one other thing where just they uh, give some uh, like activities and all that and but that book has changed my uh, like uh, mindset or perspective about how to you know deal with professional relationship i mean the things that are shared in that uh, for example let's say uh, you know leading or uh, talking to someone with empathy or uh, for example understanding someone's perspective don't not to be judgmental about someone while speaking to even for the first time i mean we generalize we have with this tendency right we generalize things uh, just by knowing the name just by knowing some background just by knowing someone's uh, like you know uh, he, uh, like educational background so that is not required uh, while dealing with anyone uh, in the professional world because people have different different ways to uh, do things that's what i learned uh, being part of different various communities uh, for like uh, last uh, like couple of years and tgv for example right i mean everyone here is coming from so much like diverse background uh, different cultures and i think so when i deal with them those those are the things i Uh, keep in mind, uh, you know, and I think that's all, guys. I mean, that's all I can say. I mean, just go and read this book. Even if you have read, it's like a timeless classic. Like you know, let's say I read something today, it's still relevant. I read it after ten years, it's still relevant. I read it like fifty years. I mean, I, of course, I can't do that. But people who have read it fifty years, they still feel that it's relevant. So I think that's the magic of that book, and uh, that's all I can say on interpersonal. What uh, the author's like, name on that? Stephen Covey? It's not Stephen Covey, right? No, no, no. It's uh, Dale Carnegie. He that book was yeah, written yes, in eighteen hundred, eighteenth century. Yeah. Can you believe oh, really? that? I thought that yes. was an. Yes. No, no. No. Let's say it is written in in. It's not written in eighteenth century. It's written in twentieth century only. it's not in 18 so that that book is not not that yes the i i would I mean, say that's what i have heard yeah, that's very hmm. no i i have read the that book it's still valid it's an amazing book yes the concept are really valid like they are like awesome like like i yeah. i have read how how to love your job and i would say that is the best thing i have read was <laughs> maximum people don't uh, love their job <laughs> <laughs> but yeah so i think that's where i will end my thought so yeah i think that's one thing we can do and yeah let, let's try to be like non judgmental and not let's not generalize when speaking to someone and respect i think mutual respect is very important when we go and yeah. just like i think one of the points uh, navin stole from me is was like give and take even i believe in that because i have been part of communities where 
uh, it's not just about taking from the community, but it's giving back to the community, right? So wherever I can help, for example, I'm part of a different community called as Hack Weekly, uh, where, you know, it's uh, like like-minded people from AI, machine learning, and uh, like all those enthusiasts. So there are people who are looking for jobs, let's say in my organization. So I will recommend the job uh, like IDs. I will send an uh, email to hiring manager that, hey, look, please look into this profile. That's all I can do. Like the interview process is out of my scope. Uh, where I can't do anything, but I think that's what I can do, right? So I think those things I do take care of. And when it comes, like for me, like when I want some help, I will go ahead and ask, uh, you know, the right people. And I'm I'm sure people will be ready to help me also when it comes. But yeah, it's give and take. It's never only take or never only give. Also, sometimes people do that, but those are like very great. <laughs> yeah, that's all. <clears throat> Just a follow up to you and Naveen, right? I'm I'm not bringing myself into this, but. Uh, everybody has said that it's a two-way street, right? It's give and take. But that generally works in the sense that from the point of somebody who's on a back foot versus somebody who's on a front foot, right? When you ask somebody, you're basically saying the other person is on the front foot if they can help you out, right? And then the person on the back foot might be on the back foot for a long time. Most people fear that mere paas dene ko kya hai, right? And they feel mera time lene ka hai, senior hai to kya hua? Let's keep taking from the senior. So at what, what is this uh, thought process that needs to come from change in that person that what does it mean for them to help out? Like what, yeah. any thoughts? I think, like, <clears throat> sorry, Naveen, go ahead first. I will, uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. See, I, I believe in this uh, 1% improvement or 1% impact, right? As long as uh, somebody is contributing to someone, at least if you're trying wholeheartedly, right? That comes back to you in one way or the other in future. But all we need is the right intent. And no matter whether you are able to impact or not. For example, in again, Pallab's case, I'm talking. If referral might work or might not work. But he knows my attempts in terms of how many people I reached out to because I've been constantly talking to him. Yeah. Likewise, anybody who reaches out to me, I keep them abreast of what is happening and all. Right? Yeah. And, and, and I don't assure them in the beginning saying that, okay, I say I'm trying if it works out, if it works out. Right? Likewise, always try. You never know. Wonders might happen. Right? Rather yeah. than not trying, take that foot forward and be positive. Imagine that things are going to happen. Use the power of visualization and then things will follow. Yeah. Okay. Because the other day I, I met one more friend and he forwarded me the job opening. Okay. Uh, he has recently set up his own uh, organization and uh, it's a startup and all. And I immediately shared in a couple of groups and all. And they started putting it in their WhatsApp status and all. And few of them started reaching out to me. I told no, no. Don't reach out to me because it is again unnecessarily uh, oh, uh, adding one more layer of communication. I'll talk to him, but you can provide my reference, right? You can uh, yeah. cite my name as a reference and that way you will at least get that interview call, right? And here, yeah. all we are trying to do is connect people and we are not assuring them that, that it is going to happen, right? Let, let the universe take care. I think Sudhakar was talking about, yeah, universe definitely listens to us and it conspires in case if you are really doing something great. And if with the right intention, it will support us. The entire universe will support us. So oh, like, hope that uh, clarifies. Yeah. So yes. on 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 this, like I just want to add this one thing. Like I I am I'm a person who like uh, like I I because in, I have, since I help people and connected with people. So one thing that I understand is that I never expect any anything from a person. Like I would like if I am helping. Uh, X Y person. It doesn't mean that I will expect that that person will be paying me in that equal terms or will be paying me because for me I don't want a payment or the reward from that person. I want that payment or the reward from the universe or the God. Like I am, I am doing a karm and from the I I want the fall from not the human. I want the fall from the universe or the God. So that's my thinking. So that's how I never got go into the loop of that, uh, that I did something for the person and that person should equally do for me because I know that may not be every, every time possible. I guess, uh, I think what all of you are trying to say is you have to manage oh, just... your expectations around giving, right, uh, taking right all the time. I think there has to be a Lakshman Rekha in everybody's mind that if you're a taker, then be obviously be known as a giver as well. It's, it's a mix of both. Maybe not with the same person, but in general. Yes. To build your brand in the market. Yeah, but what... There are two things here. Uh, let, sorry, Sanira. Let, let me complete quickly. Yeah, yeah, and I will no. hand it to you. No, no, no problem. Go ahead. 
So Avina, just coming back to your initial question, right? So just quickly want to like address that with one scenario. So uh, while I was in like a Toastmasters club in uh, like, you know, in my past, so there was one like ex CEO of some company. Uh, he used to come and you know mentor us because it was a new club. So that was just time like this same scenario which you mentioned. We were just taking from him. We were just absorbing whatever we can in terms of all the uh, knowledge that he had uh, in terms of like professional plus the Toastmasters one because he was like area director for us. So but when it comes, but he that leader made us so comfortable around him that. You know, when it comes for me, let's say if he asks some for, like some for, for help from my end, I will not be hesitant to like you know uh, give him because just thinking that okay he is like at such big position, because it was his ability to make us so comfortable around him and uh, you know to make sure that we can also if needed help him because he never uh, came out to us like that okay I know everything and I just don't need any help. He always made us that okay even I can need help you know uh, in some of the cases which he did reach out. So I think these are the interpersonal skills which uh, we need to develop uh, and so that give and take remains balanced. And one other thing which I personally uh, like follow in terms of giving is I hate uh, like, you know, hand holding for anyone. Like I, I can help you to create a path if you need some help. I can help, help you to connect with the right POCs, but don't expect me to, you know, do some hand holding till end of the road. If that's what they're expecting, I will so cut it off right away. The pathway of what it means from you. You're basically saying, I'll give you the guidance. I'll support yeah. you time to time, but I will not walk you down the path. Yeah, no. I, I can't walk you down the road. Uh, it's a lot of time commitment, which we generally like cannot give to everybody. So that's one thing I follow in terms of uh, giving when, like, for example, if someone is asking for, let's say, job, uh, like guidance or mentoring in, in those ends. So yeah. that's what, like, I, I think it's a very, uh, like, key thing to balance it out. Uh, I think that's what we have to, like, always do. Uh, and I think that's all life is all about, right? Okay, cool. Let me quickly get in uh, Dakar and Evie as well, and then can open the floor to everybody. I am running. I think we are running shorter than Naveen. Do we have a time limit on this? No, we can continue till eight o'clock. Okay. okay. So that is so a designated Dhakar time. And, uh, yeah, yeah. So Dakar and Envy, please. Whoever wants to go. Hey, Vinash. Hey. I'm really apologetic to join late. Are, koi so, not aware for the meeting. Okay. So, um, I'm still exploring path in this uh, interpersonal relationship, to be very frank. Uh, I don't know the A to Z of anything what happens, but I try to be open as much as possible. This is my own rule. Um, open to any opportunity. Uh, don't expect. Always accept whatever happens it's life i really don't know what will happen and what is going to happen and what happened but i am open so i create an open environment for all to develop and me to grow okay um, this is my understanding um, um uh, situations happened like where um, i was told that i was speaking more but uh, this is what i do i speak more that's it so it's uh, whenever anything happens, I can say, I'm sorry. That's it. Um, I learn. Uh, um, um, I can uh, explore more in failure itself. But uh, uh, whoever I have come across till now, um, out of 100 people, 99 was very kind. One was very rough. So that is also open. I learned a lot. And uh, they are still open to come anytime. So uh, I'm... I will say myself open to anything. Let's see what comes next. Cool. Okay. Uh, I, is anybody left to go? I can't see Sudhakar in here. So I guess the floor is open to any points that you'll want to discuss because we are pretty, I mean, I had another question, but I think we have uh, quite a, a set of points that have been brought up. Uh, uh, the common frame points that I could pick up was it uh, an interpersonal relationship is based on trust. It is, uh, in some cases, a two-way relationship. In some cases, it's just about building a brand that you're not only taking, but you're also giving. Uh, it's also about understanding that, especially when you're asking uh, help from a senior person, that senior person is not going to handhold you all the way. They will make help you identify the right path, but uh, going along the journey is something that you got to go through yourself. Uh, is there anything that I missed out? I don't know. 
Uh, I just wanted to add on Pinto. See, yeah. when we say helper, it doesn't mean physically somebody has to come and help you. Yeah. If there is moral support that is enough as a team, as a, as a person whom you are, you know, uh, having your um, interpersonal relationship, if the support is there, um, I mean, mentally also that is enough because you just need the motivation and support, that's it. And um, the problem comes is when somebody annoys you and puts you off. That is where the trust, you know, you lose. Exactly. I'm not talking about anything particular, all my thoughts, please keep and bear it in mind. I am just talking through my experiences and yeah. about, you know, interpersonal things. Yeah. Because what he said is absolutely right. When you have expectation, you have disappointment. It happens in our own families also. Yeah. When we uh, actually have expectation and, the, and if it doesn't happen, then we get disappointed because each one has their own life. The same thing with our friend circle, with our network, whatever it is. So expectations, as he said, we should not have. Uh, yeah. We just okay. have to support each other, encourage each other. That's it. No. Uh, kudos and done. You know, well yeah. done. That's, that's it. We know. I, yeah. Nobody is literally going to ask you money or you know something uh, favor to recommend you anything. Good is positive. If you can way. help, then help. Yeah. If, yeah. If not, just you need that support positive, at the back of your mind. Yeah people are there and then you go forward that is True. what it happens for many people even at for children at home if the parents are not supportive i've seen many children you know just uh, motivation they require that's it literally the parent is not going to search for them job and you. these <laughs> children only have to search okay yeah. but then they know that if i am doing I mean, my family is supporting great you've yeah. done well you got the job very well you know then uh, just putting their force. I wanted you to become this, that. You have ended up doing this. I am this great and you are joining in such a great. So these are all the things. So because trust has to be there, motivation, support has to be there in whatever relationship. And the person should know that, you know, whatever is right or wrong. Sometimes we might be uh, wrong in our decisions. Uh, yeah. It happens in life also. Right. Yeah. We end up in wrong relationship, wrong decisions. We end up in wrong places. But then the support has to be there that uh, this is my friend. This is my you know network. This is my daughter. This is my son. This is my husband, whoever it is. Right. You know, at the back of the mind, help is required. You have to, I mean, support that person. And that is not the time to say you have done the mistake and you suffer. You know, I've told you now you didn't listen. So go ahead and enjoy. So that trust has to be there and that um, honesty has to be there that we need to support whoever, you know, person we are there in relationship. That is very important. Right? Or we can say this is wrong, but then try to get them out of the wrong, but then we should not, you know, uh, snub them or put them down. That is very wrong. Sangeeta, why don't you go ahead? Like, I think uh, you had something to say. I believe I cut you off. No, no, no. That's not the point. I just wanted to, uh, as uh, everyone said, we are all on the same page. <laughs> That's what our thoughts uh, yeah. are similar to each other. So my go is always that uh, with, instead of expectations, it's always the intention and the way we accept the people. People are from different background. We are also from the different background. And we are at a different stage of life every time. Like in some of the domain, I may be taking baby steps. In, a, in other domain, I may, might be an expert. So in, as an expert, I can mentor. But as a beginner, I need uh, advice. I need guidance. So when in my uh, life itself, uh, situation by situation or domain by domain, I need somewhere guidance and I guide somewhere, someone. So everything matters as per what we are uh, free to do. The freedom in the relationship really matters. And this is where the interpersonal relationships will always play a major role for anybody to grow and learn in their own uh, way. That's a heavy statement. Rohit, <laughs> 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 Rohit. I think you have something to say, right? Something that you put pointed out in chat. I guess I am yes. not sure if everybody can read. So why don't you do that? You are sending personal chats here. This is not good. Not this is a personal chat, yeah. This is on the <laughs> everybody. 
okay. I am missing Rohit Chaudhary. Christian Tesh, be here, be here. You are in some other world. <laughs> so, okay. like, my point is that, like, that, like, this, I think this was the first question that Avinash asked me after my talk. Yeah. That uh, have you gone, uh, like, got to know some people who may have uh, taken some uneven advantage of you? Yes, people definitely take uneven advantage because, uh, as Nitesh said, like, out of hundred people, ninety-nine may be good and one may be very bad. So, due to that. In many, you 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 know, twenty very different ten people. So I I just want to say that due to those ten people, consider those ten people, and do what you are trying to do because as it says, ki uh, like ek tikan tikan jod ke hi ham ek ek tarah se ek ek pura pahar bana sakte hai. So just try continue helping others. Don't change your ways like. One day, like suppose one one of my friend took some money and he ran away. That doesn't make me that I am not helping any other friend. Yeah. Because yeah. that person is wrong. And I am not wrong. My friendship is not wrong. My intentions are not wrong. Yeah. Because that friend maybe that like I I'd say I, I to to all the people who say that who took my money and ran away. I say he is his business model. It is his business. He is an entrepreneur. So just consider him to be an entrepreneur, and this is his business model. Business model. People may have this different business model. People like me have a business model of talking. I earn by talking. I earn by giving yarn. So his it is his business model. So let him have that. And I think Del Del can be product or service again. <laughs> and like uh, I think Del Del can use the burger, talk, and then uh, get some yarn, something like this. Yeah. <laughs> like, like you see, for advertisement, come you know, uh, friendship or something. Maybe your number also highlights there. <laughs> I, mean, uh, I just, I just. Uh, Nitesh. Uh, yes. I, I just wanted to add one thing. You I, made me for. Yes. I forgot what I was going to say. No problem. You made me for. It changed your career. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Nice. <laughs> Actually, uh, uh, as Abhinav told, uh, trust is an important parameter. But I guess intention is really uh, the right word. Sometimes trust are broken, but intention seems to be right. So I really don't know the other person's what uh, what is going on his mind. Maybe the intention is correct. The uh, when when if I say a technical time domain analysis, so his time domain maybe he is doing right, whereas I am thinking as a wrong. so intentions are really powerful whereas trust can be broken very easily yeah intentions are deeply rooted and trust, i think most trust will take a lot of time to be yeah, yeah but i feel the very it's very trans, apparent your intention for somebody who's been around i'm sure experienced people like navin and all who get a lot of requests because of the position they hold mm-hmm. and others like him that when somebody comes to them with a certain intention they can read through measure whether what the intention really is do they really need help or is it something else that's going on navin what do you say to that is that something that you go by is navin anybody else want to take so that what, question what somebody who gets a lot of what if i say my intentions are right and his intentions are wrong and let things go wrong no problem by my my intentions were right so at the end of the day i am satisfied yeah on on that like uh, let, let me put one point whenever you're thinking that you are right and something bad happens to you you get tensed you uh, you 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 think that uh, something bad has happened to you so one thing that i have learned from del carnegie's book and many things i have learned so one of the thing is maybe i would say this is uh, this is what i have learned from gita that you may be right at your position like you are the hero of your story it doesn't mean that the second person is a villain because he may be the uh, hero like i said na that person is an entrepreneur is his business model is her business model what are you laughing about i have some <laughs> like i i have some of my uh, like neighbors who i would say, who, who my mother would like they she doesn't like them like their business model is to fool people and earn so it is their business model like it's on us to not get fooled 
in it's on the other people not, not to get fooled so ultimately they are su su succeeding in what they are trying to do ultimately they are achieving success so it's it will be our success if we are not getting fooled or if we are able to give it back in e uh, equal terms maybe not equal terms or just to stay back at things so yes so you're thinking that i my intentions were right i mean maybe i would say my intentions were right when i gave money to my friend so i had that thought for one month and i i was tense that i gave i could did a good deed and i got a bad thing when yeah. i left that thought i i was calm that yes it happened and it happened like it may happen again it, it may happen ag again with my uh, i would say such like maybe my like my what? brother in law it may happen <laughs> with nitesh rohit 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 okay get me to okay samal samal no because i know my brother in law na <laughs> rohit i can promise you one thing i will return your money <laughs> oh my god <laughs> what you want to give no okay guys i think let's end today's session has been an amazing one but i would like to end with what anand is saying anand on chat you've said something why don't you say that and uh, we can end with that it's a nice statement yeah uh, yeah before i do that uh, just to like put it in heavy terms like what rohit just summarized everything right is experience it is called like emotional intelligence like you know just mm -hmm. to uh, say it in very high fancy words but i think that is like that is also one of the key element uh, you know while have dealing with interpersonal relationship because how much you let uh, impact yourself or the other uh, because of an bad incident because of a bad experience i think that also decides how you deal with uh, your your other relationships so yeah. yeah that's one thing and as i told i think as a, as i said in this chat it's it's an art trust me uh, building relationships it's not in science that we follow this then the output will be always this because there are so many variables the humans are different the back as i told we come from so such a different backgrounds and you know diverse cultures so yeah. that makes it more complicated and what takes it to the next level of complication is emotions i think i think yeah. that's where it uh, yeah I really sometimes uh, wish Anand. I should see you smiling. Sometimes you feel very tensed. Oh, know. the <laughs> camera is not on. <laughs> no, I'm really yeah. Not on. No, I, I smile, uh, Nitesh. It's a Saturday evening. Why should I not like be serious? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Thank you. Well, okay, guys. I think it's about seven thirty. Do we want to continue? I'll just go with y'all. What What do y'all want to do? Do we shall we continue the discussion? Or I can we continue. continue. I can definitely continue. No, I am ready to listen to Rohit about his marriage plans. <laughs> <laughs> let's yeah. Let's continue for five ten minutes more. The second, like I had another question which I stopped because everybody had lots of views on the topic, and uh, the second question I had is, uh, we've all focused on this kind of with the lens of how we help others, right? as of now now we are all at different phases in our lives there's obviously people who are not doing as well as we are and there are people who are doing better than us now the question is how do we react when we need help from other people right what what is the process of selecting somebody to go and ask a uh, help from now for example rohit keeps saying mentioning that uh relationships are not as important i have help everybody else who does uh, rohit go to get help from or what does he think about who in terms of what what parameters are in his mind when he wants to make a decision about can i approach this person what can i give him or do for him at a later stage what questions go to your mind and how do you manage them so like i would say i am very very bad at asking help like i am i would say i am the worst person in that thing because i never help ask for help like if i am and i if i am like mai agar do be raunga na i would not help ask for an help until unless mujhe pata hai main ja raha hu so <laughs> that is the current so i help people but when i i, I need to ask for help i am like uh, the, the two or three go to people for me which to whom i go is my, one of my like the i would say the gurus of my life like my mother 
there's one my my boss like and there are some people who have really really taught me like yes because uh, like uh, let uh, let me take an example like uh, we like people worship rajnigan like there are the temp temple we, we there is one sachin chalis and there are n number of things people worship them or they look up to them because they think that they have achieved something which they at their own stage cannot do that like like yeah. i i i like take let me take an example of uh, 1980s 70s where pe people were full of anger like in in themselves they were full of anger because of the country issues because of not having that economical status so people started to envy them as the angry man that's why amitabh bachchan became such a big angry man that we had that image of angry man that angry man is not currently working if i get that again angry man in a movie and publish that movie it it will flop yeah a, pers a person who is now a techie who is having a uh, headphones who is coding that person will be a new i would say a person uh, uh, some word i i would visualize maybe the doc doctors will maybe something which i would uh, look, look up to so uh, when you think that a person can definitely help or would uh, or have help or have gone through that earlier i would definitely go to that person like like navin i i would go to him if i need something you have a history with this what you are saying yes like not like uh, not that history i would just say i think like maybe i i i may go to navin to ask for some speaking skills because he has done a lot of speaking in that domain maybe yeah. that may not be that thing but i i would say when the domain has a intersection point when the when you have two circles and they are intersecting at a common point it may not be that they are concentric circles but at least they intersect at one point so that is the place or the person i i would go to if i i need any help cool anybody else oh. nv sangeeta okay yeah nitesh you want to go first please no, go i i want you to talk first <laughs> you have the keyword not me <laughs> okay yeah so uh, asking help uh, is has never been a problem for me um, as i said that we all are human beings and at one or the other point we would need help every day we need help uh, in day to day life also like uh, morning as soon as i get up i'll have a lot of things to finish by 7 7:15 so it's my husband who will uh, come in the kitchen and say do you need help so that's yeah. the time i think yes if i need help i say yes and if i don't need i just say okay no i can manage today <laughs> so it's like that so it starts from the day starts yeah. beginning of the day um so whenever you, one must realize that where whatever is your limitation you cannot be uh, you are you, we all have superpowers uh, do, but yes there, there is some interconnections uh, interrelations which you cannot ignore also yeah sometimes you can't do everything at the same time so you need help and there are moments in your career basically when you are just uh, in the very first phase of your career there you need lot of help uh, guidance you need to connect with people and when you grow um, better in your career like uh, much higher in your career then again you need because there are already people who are uh, at the much bigger level than you and uh, you need guidance and most uh, important is when you are when you are growing in the ladder how do you really take help or how do you help others both matters a lot so i feel that asking for help uh, one must really realize that you can't do everything on your own you yeah. need help <laughs> so just ask that's even that's a well said line it matters both ways it's not about one way street it's it is not either, it's a, not only about uh, taking help giving, it's also yeah. about giving help yes it's not only giving so i i now rajeshri ma'am has just disconnected but she has been teaching and she has been doing lot of things a teacher is always a learner because the student teaches one or the other new aspect to them i have experienced this when i was a professor uh, i was a assistant lecturer i really used to learn lot of things from because it's very different perspectives you learn from others even if they are your students yes that relation is 
having a tag or a name like okay teacher and student but finally as a human you are exchanging knowledge you are exchanging experiences so that's yeah. all about you are taking help <laughs> even if you are not <laughs> saying i need help that last uh, bit of your thing brought the one word out which i wanted to which yeah. is listening skills like yes relationships or even interpersonal relationships are more about listening than anything else because if we listen with our ears open then only we identify what the other person really wants yes. and uh, that's only when we can really support because most of us uh, even when we are helping help with our eyes right with our perspectives rather than with the perspectives of the person who is asking for help and we yes yes you want to go now yeah we... sorry can you can you repeat the question no the question was uh, we are all uh, used to helping others one way or the yeah. other but yeah. what about when we want help how do we yeah. decide who to go to and how safe do we feel with that how do yeah. we deal with that feeling see I, i i'll tell you something which i don't practice okay because yeah. even i'm super hesitant to ask help for for some reason i'm super hesitant because i am a kind of guy who doesn't take that no easily so we have to break that barrier in case if you expect no and be prepared then go and ask for help because nothing is going to happen yeah unless i am 100% sure okay this guy is going to help me then only i'll go and ask him or else i'll not ask but is that a good not thing not the positive approach so you're saying you want to change that approach yeah I, even i have to change and we have to be prepared because it it and uh, to be honest as far as uh, uh, certain articles that i have read and a uh, few experts what they say is in case if you are seeking help from somebody they will they will get a good impression on you because you sought help from them right which will actually build interpersonal relationships very well and all and there is nothing wrong in asking help yeah okay so okay so that's my point and uh, i want to drop now because many of my friends are yeah, waiting it's time i think uh, envy uh, let envy say and then we'll close the session here envy do you have something to share only last uh, sentence when i need help i shoot my arrows in all directions just take out the mobile see the contacts message them Somebody what a says, line to end on <laughs> the universe will work for me and if not i will work for the universe <laughs> what a line to end on perfect line <laughs> Well, thanks, guys, for joining in. It's been a lovely conversation. Uh, I think I hope thanks, you all. Thanks, Avinash. Enjoyed. It was a great. Hey, Avinash. Thank you. It was really great. And guys, before we leave, here is an announcement. Vamsi Balamarthi was not well today, but he volunteered to be the host for next month's uh, uh, TGV Circles meeting. And uh, in case if somebody wants to be the guest in the month of September, do let me know. Other than. Uh, nitesh and rohit who have already hosted maybe sudha uh, sangeeta you may want to take if september? if that is the case then i'll sure. for, sure. for, for september. september yeah sure. yeah awesome. all right so i'll yeah. i'll reserve your uh, name for that okay all right. enjoy your evening guys thanks for joining Bye. in have a good thank, thank you it was a lovely, lovely conversation guys thank you and have a good, yes. great rest of the saturday take care guys take care bye, bye. have a great evening